Hey Danielle, can you help me with my homework? Yeah, of course. So what issues are you having? Just this geometry problem with a right triangle. Okay. Uh, what's exactly your problem? I can't figure out what the hypotenuse is. Oh, that's actually pretty easy. All you have to do is apply Pythagorean theorem. How do I do that? Well, Pythagorean theorem says that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So, since we have our right triangle here, we have two values for the legs. So, we have our a squared plus b squared portion. So, knowing these, we can plug them into our equation. We get 6 squared plus 8 squared equals c squared. Then, after that, we have to isolate c by itself. So, we take the square root of c squared and the square root of the other portion of the equation. Okay. Then, we square everything in the inside of the first part of the equation. So, we get 36 plus 64. Take the square root of that, and that is equal to c. Reduce it down a little bit more. We get the square root of 100 equals c, and then c equals 10 meters. And that's wow. all you have to do. That was pretty simple. Mm -hmm. But now what if I want to find the length of the total outside of the shape? Well, that's also pretty easy too. All you have to do is add up all the sides. So the leg plus the leg plus the hypotenuse. Okay. So we have A, which equals 6, plus B, which equals 8, plus C, which equals 10. So then that equals 24 meters. Perfect. Wow. But now what if we want to find the inside? Well, that means we need to find the area and we need an equation for that. Uh, the equation for the area of a triangle is one half base times height. Okay, but here, which one's the base and which one's the height? Well, the base is the bottom portion of the leg, which is six meters in this case, and the height is eight meters. So then we just plug in those values and calculate. Okay, let me give it a try. So we have one half times the base, which is six, times the height, which is eight, which equals 24 meters. Don't forget the squared. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. All right. But then, what is that angle? Well, that's a great question. And we have to turn to some more trig functions, such as sine, cosine, and tangent. Now, if we want to find this angle here, we have to use one of these. And probably the simplest one that we can use is tangent, because we know both legs. And then we simply plug it into the equation. So tangent equals opposite, so we draw a line to get the opposite, which is 8 meters, and then the adjacent is 6 meters. Then we take the inverse tangent of 8 over 6, and then plug it into our calculator, and we get 53.1301 degrees. Very precise. Yep. There you go. Thanks for the help, Danielle. Anytime.